Imagine living in a small village where everyone knows each other. In this village, there's a farmer who is very good at what he does. Every year, when the harvest season comes, his wheat fields are the talk of the town. His wheat is always the tallest, healthiest and yields the most grain. Because of this, he wins the award for the best wheat every year without fail. People from nearby villages also hear about this farmer and his exceptional wheat. Many wonder what his secret is. How does he manage to have such a successful harvest every year? Is it a special kind of fertilizer? Is it a unique farming technique? Or is it something else entirely? One day, a wise woman from another village decides to visit this farmer. She has heard so much about his wheat and is curious to learn his secret. When she arrives, she finds the farmer in his field, carefully inspecting his crops. She approaches him and asks, Good sir, how do you manage to grow such wonderful wheat every year? What is your secret? The farmer looks up from his crops, a gentle smile on his face. He invites the wise woman to sit with him under a nearby tree, where they can talk comfortably. He begins to explain, You see, the secret to my success is actually quite simple. Every year, I share my best wheat seeds with my neighbours. I make sure they all have the chance to plant quality seeds in their fields. The wise woman is surprised by his answer. She asks, But why do you share your best seeds with your neighbours? Aren't they your competition? Doesn't it make it harder for you to win the award for the best wheat? The farmer nods, understanding her confusion. He explains, Yes, they are my competition. But there's something important about wheat farming that many people don't consider. Wheat fields don't exist in isolation. The wind carries pollen from one field to another, mixing the genetics of the plants. If my neighbours grow poor quality wheat, the wind will carry their wheat's pollen to my field, affecting my crop's quality. So, by helping my neighbours grow better wheat, I'm also helping myself. We all benefit from having good quality wheat in our fields. The wise woman is impressed by the farmer's insight. She realises that his approach is not just about farming. It's a philosophy for life. By helping others, we help ourselves. By sharing our best with those around us, we create a community where everyone thrives. The farmer's story spreads far and wide, inspiring others to adopt his way of thinking. People start to understand that success doesn't have to come at the expense of others. Instead, by working together and supporting each other, everyone can achieve more. This lesson goes beyond farming. It applies to all aspects of life. Whether it's in our personal relationships, our community involvement, or our professional endeavours, the principle remains the same. When we lift others up, we also rise. When we spread kindness, love, respect and hope, we not only enrich the lives of those around us, but we also find deeper meaning and happiness in our own lives. The value of our lives is not measured by the wealth we accumulate or the accolades we receive. It's measured by the impact we have on others. It's about the love we share, the kindness we show, the respect we give, and the hope we inspire. By living our lives with this mindset, we can all contribute to a better world, just like the farmer with his wheat. In the end, the wise woman thanks the farmer for sharing his wisdom with her. She leaves the village inspired by his words and determined to spread his message. The farmer goes back to his fields, content in the knowledge that his approach to farming and to life has the power to change the world, one wheat field and one act of kindness at a time.